Your life should feel easy. In fact, your life gets to feel easy. If you don't already hold this belief or you're not reminding yourself of it daily, now is the perfect time to start because today we are discussing feminine energy habits that will help you vibrate on the highest of frequencies and effortlessly attract your desires. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eva and in this space we talk about how to level up and live our dream lives. As always, timestamps are down below and video chapters are as follows. Before I understood or really knew what feminine energy was all about, I believed I could only receive good things if I worked really, really hard for them. Success only came after blood, sweat, and tears. I would spend months planning, strategizing, and executing on all of these things that I thought I had to do in order to be successful. My motto in high school was literally, pain is temporary, GPA is forever. And while I can account a lot of my success on paper to this mentality or mindset, my mental, emotional and physical health was suffering significantly and i think a lot of women can relate to this working tirelessly focusing on so many things at once and just struggling to stay afloat by contrast i want you to imagine a life where rather than chasing opportunities you find that the right ones are always coming your way. Maybe it's that dream job or that dream relationship or just that dream life. You frequently find yourself in the right place at the right time and life just feels easy. You're tapped into a very intuitive, creative, and relaxed side of yourself that has given you this beautiful glow. This isn't something that's fake, impossible, or even hard to do. This is how life feels when you are tapped into your divine feminine energy and vibrating at the highest of frequencies. And I can promise you, it is so achievable. So let's get into it. Okay, this is gonna get a little sciencey, but just stick with me. We as humans are made up of both matter and energy. And we know, thanks to quantum physics, that all particles in the universe have a frequency. This is known as wave particle duality. This was, I believe, one of Einstein's theories. You can look into it further if you're interested. So sounds emit frequencies, right? Frequencies are like waves. And that's why when you blow certain whistles, dogs can hear the sounds, but humans cannot because the frequency is out of our range. That's what sound frequencies are. We also know that light emits frequencies. In the visible light spectrum, which is about 1% of the whole spectrum, we see all of the colors in the rainbow, and those have different waves and frequencies that they send out. So when we consider that our emotions also have frequencies, we end up with a chart like this. So as our minds generate thoughts, those thoughts turn into emotions, and those emotions send out energy, send out frequency, they send out waves. There are higher vibrational waves that can be emitted when we experience feelings of joy, love, peace, enlightenment. And there's also more lower vibrational frequency emotions such as shame, anger, disgust, things of that nature. When we tune into the right frequency, we receive that frequency. This is the same way that TVs or radio channels work, right? You turn the radio to a specific station, it connects to that frequency, and that's what we hear. That's what we register on the radio. In this case, you are the radio. You are tuning into different channels in the universe. So our goal is to tap into those higher levels and those higher frequencies that are aligned with our desires. And this is essentially what the law of attraction is about. So once we raise our level, once we raise our vibrational frequency using the strategies that are laid out in this video, we become an energetic match for our desires, meaning we're able to effortlessly attract them. In the same way, once we tune the radio to the right frequency and then and the radio receives that frequency when we tune ourselves to the right emotional frequencies we then receive that same thing back we receive abundance love joy etc so if you want to know how to tune into those higher frequencies then keep watching let's jump in women in their feminine energy and who are tapped into the highest of frequencies take care of the basics first. So I graduated with a degree in psychology and we learned about this concept called Maslow's hierarchy of needs. The general premise is that humans need to fulfill their most basic needs, such as physiological needs, safety needs, etc., before they can reach higher levels, things such as achievement, success, fulfillment, self-actualization. The same thing applies when we're trying to tap into higher 
vibrational frequencies. We have to first cover the basics before we can get to achieving our dream life and living, you know, living out our wildest dreams. So how do we move up the hierarchy? We take care of the basics first. I'm talking about getting enough sleep, eating nutritious foods, and moving your body. Those are the big three. Because how can you expect to be vibrating on the highest of frequencies, you know, maybe buying your dream car or, or having your dream body when you're not even properly nourishing yourself, when you're sleep deprived? It just, like, we can't tap into those higher levels until we first cover the basics. So oftentimes, if I'm sitting down and I'm trying to be creative, you know, write a script for a video, if I find myself struggling, I have to check in with these three basics. I ask myself, okay, am I tired? Am I hungry? Or do I need a movement break? Oftentimes it's number three. Oftentimes I just need a movement break. So I'll get up, I'll go for a walk, or I'll do a little 20 minute Pilates. Something that's easy and quick and just gets me moving. We're not supposed to stay stagnant. With my students that I teach, we take movement breaks all of the time because when you are locked in, <laughs> when you're focusing on something for a long time, there comes a certain point where you just reach a limit. Once we have this as the foundation, then we can move beyond the basics. Next up, women in their feminine energy create a sense of internal safety. There's a certain level of openness and receptivity that a woman in her divine feminine energy possesses. And we cannot feel receptive or open if we don't feel safe, right? Because then we're still stuck in survival mode. So in order for our feminine energy to thrive, we need that sense of safety. And we can do this by cultivating a home within ourselves. Now, what do I mean by this? I literally think about it like I'm coming home from the day. Maybe I hung out with my friends. Maybe I went to work. Some, some activity. I'm returning to this home within myself where I have this sense of comfort and security and safety to just be with myself. Like I'm in a nice cozy home that is just right for me. When we don't have this sense of internal safety or this comfort uh, and familiarity being with ourselves or we just don't even feel fully whole by ourselves and we look for that, from external sources. Maybe this is through male validation. Maybe it's through likes on Instagram, right? That's how you're getting your value or your worth. Maybe it's through wrapping up your whole identity in the work that you are doing or what you're producing. These are all signs of wounded feminine energy because anytime you are relying on external validation, you're jeopardizing your own sense of safety. You're putting your emotional well-being in the hands of others. And that's just not a good strategy. Being comfortable in your own company and enjoying the times when you get to return to yourself, where you feel happy and excited to be with yourself, that puts us in charge of our own well-being. And there are many ways that this can look in practice. So get to know yourself and practice self-love. The key word there being practice. Take yourself on a date. Buy yourself flowers journal, have hobbies. I made a whole video related to the types of hobbies that we can have and how that can make us even hotter. So check out that video if you're interested. Um, but other things, you know, get yourself a facial, talk to yourself positively. Those are self things we can do. Um, but creating an internal sense of safety might also look like setting boundaries, maybe with yourself or with other people, not tolerating situations that leave you feeling not good about yourself. These things are so, so important because not only does it take us out of that sense of survival mode, but it actually helps us attract opportunities into our lives. Because what you want in other people, like maybe you want that dream relationship where your partner treats you like a princess. What you want in other people, you have to give to yourself first. This was a crazy, like this was a lesson that it took a long time for me to realize. So when you work from within, you're operating from a place of abundance rather than lack because you don't need to go searching these external things to try to fill you up. You're only going to be attracting opportunities that are truly going to serve you. There's this quote that I love of, and it says, if you spend all your time chasing butterflies, they will fly away. But if you spend your time building a beautiful garden, the butterflies will come to you. And that's exactly what creating internal safety is all about. It's building a beautiful garden, building a beautiful life for yourself. That way, the opportunities naturally come to you. Next up, women who are in their feminine energy and tapped into their highest vibrational frequency are clear on their vision. They are clear on their goals, dreams, aspirations, etc. If you're not even clear on what you want, how can you expect to effortlessly attract these desires? We don't even know what the desires are. That 
that is why it is so, so important to get very clear and very specific on what you actually want out of your life. What does your dream life look like? Unless we are very purposeful in this step, it's easy to mistake someone else's dreams as your own but we're creating our own dream life for ourselves. So it deserves some thought. I go even more in depth on how to get clear on what you actually want in my video, how to rebrand and reinvent yourself. So check it out if you're interested. When you're thinking about your goals and your dreams and aspirations, etc., I want you to focus on how you wanna feel and not just like the material things that you want. If you could do, be, or feel anything, what would you be doing? What are your deepest desires? Who would you be impacting? What feels easy and what are you passionate about? I promise you when you focus in on those things, life becomes easier. It's also important here that we don't let our limiting beliefs come into play. So don't focus on what you think you can do or think you can accomplish. Rather, focus on what you actually want to do. It doesn't matter how hard it seems. It doesn't matter who agrees with you. If you want it to actually happen, you first have to allow yourself to imagine that it can happen in your mind. And if you're really struggling with this, I would encourage you to embrace the mentality of why can't this be me? From the time I was 13, I loved watching YouTube videos. YouTube was my whole life. There was this really small part of me that wanted to be a YouTuber that would film little videos, but I would never post them. And there comes a point when you have to ask yourself, well, why can't this be me? Other people are doing it. Why is this not possible for me? It's a limiting belief if you feel like it isn't. Sometimes, you guys, being Delulu is the Salulu. That is the way that we create a lifestyle that we absolutely love. Even if it seems crazy or improbable, we will work out all the details later. But first, just allow yourself to really think about what you truly want. Next up, women in their feminine energy move through life more slowly and intentionally. Why is this so important? This is part of what allows us to be in the right place at the right time and effortlessly attract those opportunities or desires. So when I talk about intentionality, I'm talking about just about everything. So we're intentional about the words that we say to ourselves and to others. We talk to ourselves and others with kindness. When you feel good, chances are others around you are going to feel good. And people don't really remember what you say. They remember how you made them feel. So when you're feeling good, you're making others feel good. That's probably going to make people like you more. That's just one way that opportunities might come to you through using your social capital and your connections to other people. We're intentional about avoiding gossip, drama, or just in general low vibrational energy. If the conversations you're having are making you experience feelings of anger, shame, disgust, like we don't, we avoid that. We're intentional about it. We're intentional about our media consumption. I can't stress how important it is to fill ourselves up with information that is only encouraging us to be the best version of ourselves. For example, negative perceptions of women in the media. Um, when you are constantly listening to songs talking about women in degrading, disrespectful ways, what do you think that's going to do to your subconscious mind, to your own sense of self-worth? Be intentional about your media. Being intentional about gratitude so we can operate from a place of abundance rather than lack and focus on what we actually do have so we can create more of that. We're intentional about the habits and the choices that we make. A woman that I look up to tremendously said something so wise, which was hard choices now, easy life. Easy choices, hard life. All of the minuscule decisions that you're making now that seem a little bit harder, right? Like washing the dishes even though you just want to leave it. That leads to an easier life down the road. When you then go back to enter the kitchen and you can thank your prior self for cleaning up, that's just an example of the hard choices that we make in the moment lead to an easier life down the road. Versus when we stay too comfortable, when we make all of the easy decisions, when we don't allow ourselves to take risks, that then leads to a harder life down the road. When we're dealing with regret, when we wonder what if I had just taken that risk. Overall, when we move with a slowness and we're more intentional about our choices, we're not just rushing through decisions and we actually pause for a second and decide, is this aligned with the highest version of me or not? We're able to flow through life easier and again, be in the right place at the right time. Next up, women in their feminine energy always give their best. About two years ago, I made it my New Year's resolution to commit to a daily self-improvement task. 
And it always varied. Maybe one day I would read, the next day I'd listen to a podcast, maybe I'd go to the gym. Some days I'd do more than others, some days I could only muster up enough strength to do one of those things. And that's completely fine because our best looks different on different days. But it's important that to vibrate on the highest of frequencies, we are still always putting our best foot forward. So maybe this looks like putting yourself together each day. It doesn't mean that every single day you have to wear a ball gown if you're just going to work. Maybe your best for the day is putting on a nice pair of sweats, doing your whole skincare routine, and having that nice, clean look. It doesn't always have to look the same, but the, the emphasis here is putting your best foot forward, putting effort in. So this is good for so many reasons. Number one, it builds up our identity capital. Identity capital are skills that you have learned or just parts of your identity that you can leverage to allow for more opportunities. Number two, humans appreciate novelty and new experiences. It makes us feel happy when we are being challenged in a healthy way and in, in, and in a healthy amount. So the key takeaway here is to not stay stagnant and be learning something new every day by continuously learning and growing we are putting ourselves in a higher vibrational state to experience more feelings of joy peace fulfillment etc if you take away nothing else from this video let it be this when we work from within opportunities come to us when we prioritize our own well-being we send out good energy to others and that energy then comes back to us you know you can absolutely achieve your goals through the blood sweat and tears method i know because i've used it but you can also achieve your goals through a much more, more peaceful and sustainable way that can still get you to that same level, if not a higher level. I know this because I have seen the way that implementing these habits and these practices have transformed my life. And the life that I'm living now is so different than the life that I was living a few years ago. And what I'm doing right now, when I get to speak about topics that are on my heart that I feel like can help other people, it fills me up and it feels like I am living my dreams. Like this was the life that I was meant to live. This is the thing that I was supposed to do. So if you have made it this far, thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate you. I would love it if you could subscribe to the channel, like this video and comment, and I will see you next week for more videos. Bye.